Okay, guys, uh, bonjour à tous et à toutes. Welcome to French 2. Um, we are going to do this read through today of the chapter 9 vocabulaire mot de section. Of course, mot is the word for words, so this is the second vocabulary section on the page. So we'll go through and uh, I'll read it to you, have you repeat some of the more bolded terms, and, um, and this will be what will help you through the assignments this week. So here we go. Um, title section is Un voyage en train, which means traveling by train. Un voyage en train. And then here we have, it looks like they're in the uh, train station, La Gare de Bordeaux, but we have some things going on. So we have getting off the train and getting on the train. So descendre du train and monter en voiture. If you're changing trains, changer de train. Um, here we have words for a train car, either une voiture or un wagon. And then as we go through the bottom here, we have a couple of sample sentences. Les voyageurs vont changer de train. The travelers are going to change trains. Ils attendent la correspondance. Um, they're waiting for their corresponding train, the next train. And finally, ils ont une correspondance à Bordeaux. So they have a, uh, a second train that will take them all the way to the city of Bordeaux, or they switch trains in Bordeaux, I think is what it's trying to tell us. So we'll go through, I'll have you repeat the title, we'll go through these words kind of in the center, and maybe the word correspondance as well. So if you will repeat after me, please. Un voyage en train. Descendre du train. Changer de train. And finally, in the middle, monter en voiture. And if you'll repeat the two words for train car, une voiture and un wagon. And then the last word that's important here is the word la correspondance. If you'll repeat that one, please. La correspondance. All right. And that takes us to the second part here, dans le train. I mean, in French, you don't say that you're on the train because that means like you're on top. You say that you're in the train. So, dans le train. When you're in the train, some things that are going on here. The only words that it shows us that are new here are the words for standing, debout, and seated, assis. So, we have dans le train, debout, assis. And it mentions what some people are doing while they're on the train. La plupart des voyageurs sont assis. So, most of the travelers are seated. Il y a quelques voyageurs debout. There are a few that are standing. Sylvain lit un livre. Um, Sylvian is reading a book. Sa copine Christine écrit des cartes postales. And his girlfriend Christine is writing postcards. Um, let's go over just those three terms that are bolded here. So if you'll repeat, please. Dans le train. Okay. Debout. Finally, assis, and that brings us through the first page. All right, the second page, not a whole lot going on, mostly sample sentences, but we'll read through them. I'll have you repeat a couple of words. So the word for the uh, person who checks your ticket is le contrôleur. So le contrôleur performs a control where he goes to make sure that you're supposed to be on the right seat, where you, if you're even allowed on the train, right, le contrôleur. Um, also a good person to ask questions too. And so this gentleman, Je descends au prochain arrêt, monsieur. Oh, oui, vous descendez au prochain arrêt. So do I get off the train at the next stop? Arrêt, the word for stop. Yes, you get off the train at the next stop. Um, let's go over just repeating the word for controller and the word for stop. So if you'll repeat, please. Le contrôleur and arrêt. And if it's the next stop, it's prochain arrêt. So repeat that word, please. Arrêt. Right. And then what do we have by way of sample sentences here? Le contrôleur contrôle les billets. So the ticket checker checks the tickets. Romain a une question. So Roman here has a question. Le contrôleur répond à sa question. And he responds to his question. Um, oftentimes in the larger trains, um, if you're traveling very far, there'll be a, a dining car, and they refer to that section of the train as 
le snack bar, a word, of course, that they, that they took from English, added a hyphen and an article, and now it's a French term. If you'll repeat it, please, le snack bar. All right. And this is the saddest man ever to be eating a sandwich, but yeah, we won't, we won't dwell on that. The final, final bit here, we have uh, this guy is, is talking, and then we have an explanation of why he's frustrated. What's he saying? Je commence vraiment à perdre patience. Allez, on y va. Sinon, on va rater notre train. So he's like, you know, I'm really starting to lose patience. Let's go. On y va. If not, we're going to miss our train. So rate is a pretty good term to, uh, to miss. On y va. Let's go. Let's repeat those two words, two words please. Rate. All right, and rate means to miss your train. And then on y va. Right, and Oniva means let's go. But what's our explanation for his uh, frustrations here? We see these in the final sentences that we'll read through. Jean et Touria attendent un ami devant la gare. So Jean and his friend Touria are waiting for a friend in front of the train station. Devant la gare. Ils vont tous les trois à La Rochelle. The three of them are going to a city called La Rochelle. Jean et Touria attendent depuis 45 minutes. So they've been waiting for 45 minutes. Jean dit qu'il commence à perdre patience. And John indicates here that he has started to lose patience. Perdre patience, the expression to lose patience. And that brings us to a pretty good stopping point.